Greetings everybody, welcome back to a new episode here. Uh, it is the Valentine's Day event and um, I've been working on some breeding, getting some chocolates, but I want to do some fishing today. Yeah, fishing. Um, I don't know where we're gonna go fishing. I remember, uh, yeah, on Aberration there were like tons of fish everywhere, you know? Just, you could fish all day, but actually I never did fishing on Aberration for some reason. Uh, I just never got around to it, but um, I'm not sure if the loot tables, well, it's probably different, but uh, we need to go fishing today anyways. And I've been kind of planning on this episode. Let's see there. I've been kind of planning on this episode for a while now, and I think today is a good day to do it since we have the uh, special event going on. Now you're supposed to fly, but bet what happened? And uh, yeah, so I've done a Dino wipe. Oh, I'm out of stamina. I think. I am. I'm out of stamina. Found it all, you parasaur. Oh, that's a 180. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I've done a dino wipe and... Um, so we got uh, event colors going on. Ooh, that's a bouncing turd, yeah. And I've looked into the event and, uh, yeah, like I said, did some breeding, got some chocolates, and now uh, I'd like to go and... Oh, oh, oh. Uh, for our... Oh, what was that? Void. For our um, fishing, I'd like to use a Pelagornis. And uh, I have a Pelagornis. I shall show you. Anyway, so if I come over here and jump onto this roof, I have this Pelagornis that I came from the um, Christmas event. I think it was a pretty high level. Or maybe it looks like it was a 174. So it's a female, so we're going to need a male. And... Um, yeah, so the reason why I want to do this is because they don't have a lot of weight. And if we're really going to do fishing, we're going to want to have some weight. So an imprinted baby would be really good. Plus, you know, we might get a good weight, you know. So I'll go out and tame one male. And we'll just go with that, you know. If we don't get any better stats, well, fine. We're just going to have to live with it. And yeah, fishing is, is important for us. Um, it's the same as on Scorched Earth. Then we're going to need to go fishing for really good RNG saddles. And hopefully we'll get a wreck saddle too. I don't know if it's in the loot table. I don't think it is. I think you got to rely on red drops or kind of deep sea loot crates and uh, difficult boss loot crates. But um, my luck with those things is basically negative one. Yeah, <laughs> so I just never get wreck saddles. But anyways, there's a lot of good saddles we can uh, get from fishing. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to go out and find a male. And I uh, will tame that. Oh, we found a 180. What is it? It's, a... it's another female, though. Ah, no. All right. Well, not opposed to it. Maybe, maybe we can tame it quickly. Yeah, let me. Uh, no. ah, there we go. Okay. Freeze. I said freeze. That's what. The, that's what they always say. You know, cops. You know, that's how you do it. Freeze! I said freeze! <laughs> okay, so, um, how about a box of chocolates? How would you like that? Alright, well, it's lost about 65 food, so, uh, let me just try this box of chocolates, so I don't, it doesn't have any... Oh, 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 something, oh, okay, well... It tamed it to almost 50%. Okay, so that's how you do it. Um, even four of those. Taming effect is 100 still. Oh, what was that? A dead manta, 174. Oh, you did the same thing. <laughs> he came up here on the beach. Uh, popped up just slightly out of the water and there you go. 174 manta. Mangled. Mangled by the amount of Oxygen in the air. Oh my god. Oh no, Omega's attacking this Pelagornis. Oh no, what's it gonna do? Is it gonna fly away? It's it's just sitting there. It is giving up on life. Oh, there it goes. Oh no. It's hard, it's hard to watch. A male 168. We'll take it, we'll take it. 
the land. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no, I didn't get a headshot. And he's running away. After him. Could have sworn I was going to get a headshot there. Alright, maybe he'll change directions if we heard him. What do you think? Oh, we got him out. Um, didn't mean to. I was hoping he'd run, but it looks like he just went to sleep. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, oh, his health is going down really fast. Okay, never mind. We've lost him. All right, pink with your boa. How much health do these things have? Not sure. Oh, okay. Should be able to survive. Are you ready? <laughs> okay. Here we go. Pick up a Valentine's Jaboa here along the way. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, Christmas one, Valentine's one. Collect all event Jaboas. <laughs> our mail 174. There it is. Yes, finally. Oh my god, that took forever. This is a cave. No, do something other than that. Hit. Ah. Okay, let me check the depth. It's not super deep, but it's pretty deep. I suppose I can knock him out over there, but there's a shark here. Let's get rid of this shark. Come on, shark. Ooh, he's a toughie. There he is, there he is. Oh, right. Here we go again. Got him. All right, he's in the drink. There we go. All right, on top of the dead shark. All right, so I'm going to dive in after him. Let's go. All right, good. We're hidden by the... Oh, there he is. Are you ready for some chocolate? I know you are. Okay, one... Oh, what? It's got a timer on it. It's got like a thousand eight hundred. What? It's got ten thousand eight hundred seconds. You're joking. <laughs> it's got a timer. You're joking. Just trying to latch onto this tame here. No, it doesn't let you. Alright, so that's the second male that we've lost. Um, because of things we didn't know. Mayo 162, there you are. Um, there's my button. Yes, yes, over here. Excellent. And he goes back out to sea. Alright, we're gonna have to do it again. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't have any effect. Hello? Hello? Oh, it's... Yeah. Hey, come on, effect, effect. That might be him on the, on the land anyways. Okay. Load, please, load. All right, it's probably him. <laughs> no, it's a one. It's a six. It's a. It's not him. Oh, that that could be him. That's him. Oh, oh, headshot, but he didn't go down. That was an excellent shot, but it didn't hit.
Okay. That did 120 while the headshot did 80. A bit confused about that. Alright everybody, uh, we're back. We got the mail finally! Yay! It was a really, it was really a long time to find a mail. We, we found, I think, three high level males. The first two uh, went unconscious over the water because, I don't know, you hit them and if you don't get them out in the first shot, they head straight over the water and basically stay there. Yeah, and once they go in the water, there's no way to tame them fast enough before they drown. So, we lost two. In the end, we got a third one, the lowest level, a 162, but we had to settle for that because it was just taking forever. And, uh, got the, um, got that guy. I want to show you this, um, so... Not this. Who's this guy? Uh, new weight, 388. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a new weight. Yeah, no, not that, that. I want to show you this guy, um... So uh, 180 attained this guy, and uh, he got a 2300 health. Our best health is, I think, 2400. A, a thousand stamina. Our best stamina is 1100. 360 weight. Our best weight is 388. And melee damage of 471. I think our best melee is 474. Something like that. It matches almost every single uh, of the of the stats we want. Just nearly, just just under, you know, for the on this one tame, one tame gives me uh, almost the same set of stats that I have uh, on these guys. Let me let me just check. What is the a four seventy two? Oh, it's basically the same melee. Yeah, yeah, pretty close, pretty close to all the health, stamina, weight, and melee in there. That that's a pretty amazing tame, but we don't need it. I just tamed uh, uh, this guy. He didn't have anything. I think I kept him for the color. I don't know. I want to do saber breeding, uh, but I, I think I'll do mutations, actually, because I like sabers so much. And I just tamed this guy, uh, but he didn't have anything good for us. I... There you go. How about that one, too? There you go. <laughs> yeah, this 188, we got to wait, but it's just not really high enough. Uh, the box of chocolates. Yeah, you can only use... You can only use a box of chocolates basically once per creature because it has like a 10,800 second countdown on it. So uh, on my settings, I'm taming it to 50% with a box of chocolates, but then I have to use kibble or something after that. So uh, yeah, that's that's one reason why we couldn't tame any of the Pelagonuses in the water like I had planned. Um, because yeah, you just can't. All right, one for you, and one for you, somewhere. All right, cool, and the interesting thing about Pelagonis, I think their party piece, is that when you fly straight up, they don't need to flap their wings. They have propulsion of some kind, and look, they can just go straight up without flapping their wings. They're just soaring straight up, look at that. And, and then when you level out, you know, it gets a bit tough, so they have to flap again. And then you go straight down, and they go into soar mode again. Yeah, just gliding, kind of floating straight down. Look how aerodynamic they are. Incoming! Boom! <laughs> like a missile. <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna, you know, do the breeding in here. These guys are small. Uh, these guys are in the way. Oh yeah, and I found um, this guy, yeah. So good level tech raptors are pretty tough to come by basically on any map. But I found this, it was a 208 female. So I tamed it while I was taming, um, I think it was another, I think it was one of those um, King Griffins over there. And it, we got a, a 544 melee on it. 544. Our melee here is uh, 483. So huge improvement on the melee for Tech Raptors. Uh, so we're going to have to include that in there. That's going to be difficult, of course, because um, the colors are already all set. But yeah, uh, we'll have to do that at some point. All right, so here's the lowdown. All right, so this female uh, the, the we had before health uh, has the health and the weight. 2352 and the weight of 273. This female that we tamed just recently has a stamina of 666. 
And a pretty good melee of 521, I think that's pretty good. And also the exact same weight of 273, so that's that's very good. And the melee, and the, the male, that we st struggled so hard to tame, gave us no stats at all, which means we could have just tamed any old male out there at any... We could have tamed one of those millions of level 6s that we saw. <laughs> so, um... Ah... A passive, it should be on passive, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So basically we need to combine the stats of these two females. So, uh, let me... Oh, nice turning radius. So we need to convert basically the stats of one of these females into a male stat. So that's what we're gonna do. Enable mating. All right, guys, I'm back. And you find me here on Pelagius Wing. That is uh, what I've <laughs> named this this girl. Um, Pelagius uh, is kind of a male name, but uh, well, I've capped it off with Wing, you know. Pelagius Wing. So, you know, it's just... Um, yeah, that's what she is. The Pelagius Wing. Yeah, anyways, yeah, behind me you can see the... Um, the added chaos of breeding going on. <laughs> there's, there's a bunch of unclaimed ones walking around there's all there's quite a lot of them actually um, and uh, this is because um, the ones that, that over over there you can see them right by my hands there um, uh, yeah yeah I was putting the, those were the ones that uh, I was chucking out you know we didn't need them anymore but I forgot to take them off of breeding so when they you know you know at first it was one then it was two and then I just forgot and I was just putting them there all really quickly and I was yeah, yeah, they started breeding, yeah, and so a baby's hatched, and uh, the incubation timer is, like, really fast, and somehow they had, um, it was the perfect temperature for incubating out there, so, uh, yeah, and I, and my, uh, hatchery was turned off because, you know, the incubation timer, it, it didn't really matter with the hatchery on or off, you know, anyways, so, yeah. Yeah, we'll take care of those later, but now I'm on the Pelagius wing here, and we're ready to go. Finally, it's actually been quite a while. Yeah, uh, I got my honey, I got my fishing rod, let me just put that on my fishing rod, there you go. Mm, we don't need scrap metal. Yeah, I leveled it up with some tech rexes. Um, I could make a better saddle, I have a, an ascended one, but I don't know, this one seems it's probably okay. So, yeah, so we got 5,000 health. Um, I pumped a lot of weight, so 524 weight, because we're going to go fishing. And uh, melee damage, yeah, I pumped that a little bit extra, so uh, 709. And I took it out to... Um, I, I took it out... Uh, I, well, I took one of them out, not this one, but, um, but one of them. Uh, to uh, to do the fish harvesting and they do massive damage to fish and they can collect on kills so you don't have to do an extra bite to um, you know collect the meat so um, it makes these guys a pretty good I mean short from an aquatic creature you know like a baryonyx or a megalodon or something these guys are pretty good at you know uh, harvesting fish Except for the fact that they harvest very little fish meat and they use half of it immediately because they're always really hungry. <laughs> so, yeah, actually this guy is still pretty hungry right now, so I'm gonna just... Um, it's pretty fast on the water, yeah, I like that. So I'm gonna see if I can... can I leave him here? Alright, Pelagius, I have you some food. There you go, 70 meat. And I haven't fished in a while. Oh, what? No! No, you idiot! Ow, it just ate it! Where's my fishing rod? The fishing rod... Ah. Okay, I have to do that first. It's been a while since I've been fishing, yeah. And uh, I want this on six. Okay, six! Yes! So you can fish from the back of one of these Pelagius... Uh, no, no, uh, uh, Pelagonis! Yeah, that's the one. Except I can't turn. I can go straight, but I can't turn. Oh wait, yeah, there we go. Okay, use the directional arrows and you can turn. Sweet! Now we're gonna fi try to find a big fish. There we go. So this is what I like to do, so I can see the fish coming. I go into K mode, but it's kind of dangerous because you don't want to go into K mode. 
Well, well, you can. It doesn't really matter. But when it starts to make a move, go out of K mode, and get ready to hit the buttons. I haven't done this in a long time, so I'm probably out of practice. But you can see the fish running for the honey in K mode. So, it, you know, you can get that bit more jump on the process. We don't really have any big lunkers in here that's going to be, like, terribly hard to snag. Okay, here's one. All right, there we go. Oh, we got some saddles. Look at that. What was it? It was a 0.8 multiplier, so it was a moderate fish. Um, let's see. Wow, oh, we got we got some. Oh, look at that raw prime fish meat. I got preserving salt in my inventory, so that's all cool. Forty-one fish meat. Whoa. You get you get way more fish meat for. All right, so a fifty-three argent have a saddle. I mean, that's better than what we got for sure. Twice as good, in fact, but it's not a really great RG saddle, is it? Okay, there we go. Oh, we got a pretty good one. Quality of 5.9 uh, level. Okay, there's a low level, but we've got a pretty good one. Hey, we got, wow, 13 candies. Wow, we got 13, we got two ascendants, a uh, number of uh, mastercraft and a number of uh, primitives there. So that's pretty good. Wow, 13 for one fish. I don't think we got, uh... oh, we got a chibi. We got a roll rat chibi. Check it out. Oh, we got one. There we go. Yeah, see when you're in the one. Yeah, that's the thing about K mode is that you can't see what you get once you're out. Yeah, but I don't think we got anything. Oh, I got, I got no. That was a, that was a heart one. I got a dire bear. Oh, that's the first dire bear I think I've ever had. Yeah. All right, what do you say we leave this place and we'll try to go find a place. I want to see if I can find a place with some salmon in there. See if we can get anything good with that. So, off we go. Yeah, we got some salmon in here. Oh, look at all the fish. Nice. Oh, yeah. This is a good place for fish in here. Sweet. Just as long as we don't get ambushed by some sort of predator. Let's give it a whirl. Oh, here comes one. Oh, didn't see it coming. All right, yeah, I think we got another. Here we got a parasarium, probably some more candy. It's always the smallest one, which is why I like to dive in there and uh, kill all the small ones because it will be the smallest ones every time instead of the large ones. And while after you've finished off all the small ones and you're waiting for the large ones, chances are that a new small one will appear and immediately go for your bait. <laughs> this is how it works. So uh, I, I forgot to bring flippers again, but um, yeah, you bring some flippers, go around, kill all the small ones with your pike or whatever. All right, who's gonna go for this tasty morse? I feel like it's gonna be pretty soon. Somebody's gonna rush in there, go for the gold. The golden honey. Here we go, a small salmon. Oh, 
<laughs> oh man. Uh, well, that's our first salmon. It's making like screams as we were uh, catching it, but um, yeah, we got some uh, new protraptodon saddle. If you have your fishing rod out, you can't actually zoom in while you're in K mode. You can zoom out, but you can't zoom in. If you want to zoom in, put away your fishing rod. That's how it's working here. All right, want that big salmon, big salmon. Come on, big salmon, big salmon. It's like people on Salmon of Fortune. What's the what's the Wheel of Fortune theme song? Can't remember. <laughs> We're playing Salmon of Fortune. Come on, big salmon. Sometimes a fish will actually uh, get really close to it. Here we go. Oh, a Mosasaur, sweet. Although we get yeah, much better Mosasaur stuff from uh, desert loot crates. Yeah, as I was gonna say, sometimes like a fish will be right next to it and then he'll aggro onto your bait, right? But the fish's turning radius won't allow it to go straight for the bait, so it'll like go around in circles like a ceiling fan around your honey, and then it'll ev it'll eventually you know lose aggro and just swim off. Yeah, it's it's kind of annoying, especially after you've been waiting for like three minutes, because like, like there's not very many fish nearby, and so you're waiting for like one or two fish to aggro, and then it finally does. Swims around your bait six times and then swims off. <laughs> Alright, not a very good one. Oh, we got a new RG saddle. Oh, even better. And uh, assault rifle blueprint, arthropleria blueprint, both not very good. Look at that! And a, an ascendant blue, uh, blueprint for a fabricated pistol? Good durability, not very good damage, but. Wish I could. Oh, look at that. A blueprint for a long neck. Blueprint for a pike. Three for a pike. Oh, there you go. If you are, um, you know, starting out a new a new map and you have yet to get a decent long neck or a, or a pike blueprint or something like that. Yeah, fishing. There you go, fishing. And I think even maybe a crossbow. Not Not sure about the crossbow, but... I think um, the loot for salmon is different than you get from fish, to be honest. And I'm going to keep on fishing. Look at that. We're getting, we're getting heavy. I'm going to keep on fishing, and I'll see you guys later. All right. Fishing is done. Uh, we didn't get any massive fish, unfortunately. All kind of, you know, well, most of them were between 0.5 and 1. Uh, a lot of small ones, but but we got a lot of loot. Nothing spectacularious, but um, we just didn't have very good luck today. Yeah, every time there's a big one, uh, actually, you know, there's a kind of a, a weird problem. A lot of the big ones were killing themselves, like even deep within the water, they would just die. And a lot of them would seem to like aggro, but like run the opposite direction. And uh, I think maybe that might have been what's killing them, but uh, I'm not really sure. A lot of the big ones died, and then basically we could fish out the small ones about as fast as they could spawn, <laughs> so... Uh, loot isn't uh, epic, but uh, we got a lot of it. Alright, there we go. 372 items. A lot of that is the candy. Uh, let's see here. So I got chocolates. Uh, I didn't know, but you can actually get chocolates from the fish. Um, here's a chibis. I haven't looked at everything actually. Uh, so I got an aloe, anki, anki, a baryonyx. I think that might be my first berry. I can't remember. A castoroids, daydon, daydon, dire bear, iguanodon, a megalania. I'm actually. I want to. I want to see that one. I want to see this megalania. Oh yeah, that's that's good. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> His head doesn't look quite right on there. <laughs> I like Megalania. Alright, Iguanodon, Paracerotherium, the Roll Rat, a Spina, a Terror Bird, and a Thyla. Alright, and other than that, we got tons of Dino Candy. 
let's reward uh, what's her name um, Pelagius Wing with some uh, she's a girl so yeah maybe some pink in there there's some pink there we go and uh, she came out yeah all cyan yeah yeah not a lot of color regions on these all right so a lot of Dyna candy a lot of mastercraft and uh, quite a few um, ascendant ones all right so blueprints Oh, yeah, I got 18 absorbent substrates, so that's pretty good. Absorbent substrates, those are uh, those are difficult to come by. All right, so we got some more RG saddles, quite a few. Uh, we got the 71 armor, but I noticed that this uh, 68 armor, 68.8, almost as much armor for quite a lot less well, a thousand six hundred less hides, so quite a bit less. So, yeah, uh, not many ascendant things. Got two ascendant Diplodocus saddles, of course. You know, uh, if anything's going to be an ascendant, it's going to be a Diplodocus saddle. We got this Arthro saddle, ninety-one. Um, let's see, anything else of uh, note? Compound bow, 200%. That's oh, 199 durability. It's not amazing, uh, but we got better stuff from Raptor Claws. Oh, yeah, quite a lot of blueprints. Uh, Dire Bear Saddles, it's nice. Electric prods. Quite a lot of fabricated pistols, wow. But uh, only one good one. I do wish you could get other armor in here besides fur and ghillie. Seems to be all I got. Uh, but I think yeah, I got some I got some boots here. This uh, this apprentice one seems to be way better than this um, Mastercraft one, except for the durability. The durability is uh, significantly more on this one. Gas mask that could be important if I'm like on an island. Ooh, Gigantosaurus saddle blueprint. I didn't see that. It's uh, only 71, but that's a Gigantosaurus. Quite a few Mosasaur. I got uh, three platform saddles. One Ascendant Mosasaur saddle, that's cool. And finally got, yes, uh, a scuba flipper blueprints, some scuba leggings there. They're not great, but they're okay. I think I've got much better stuff on Scorched. Ah, <laughs> look at this. It's just... No. <laughs> Alright everybody, thanks for watching. Do hit the thumbs up button for me. Um, if you're enjoying the video and enjoying the series, I thank you very much for that. Uh, do subscribe for more stuff coming out and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Hope you all have a great, fantastic day. And I do, yeah, recommend the Pelagornis for your fishing adventures and I do recommend fishing indeed for... Um, for a playthrough, I, I guess I had forgotten that uh, it actually is pretty important. I got another level up. Oh, is that my level up? I think we'll just put it more into uh, weight. Weight is uh, quite important. All right. Well, if I think I might be better for fishing, I, I can't see any other reason why I would have suddenly had four levels. So uh, yeah, fishing. Big XP as well. I had no idea. So, uh, yeah. Go out and do some fishing, especially because it's Valentine's event. Alright, thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.